What's good, YouTube? Swiftly here back with another NBA 2K25 badge breakdown video. And in today's video, we probably have the shortest episode of badge breakdown, right? Because in today's video, we are going to be talking about the defensive badge interceptor. Okay, now if you read the description, it says that interceptor increases chances at getting steals in passing lanes. Now, I'm not going to waste your time or yap and talk your ear off. If you play NBA 2K25, you know how ridiculous this badge is. It's just OP. It's OP. I'm just going to leave it at that. If you haven't played NBA 2K25 yet, then let me tell you this badge here has been causing everyone to rage and get mad and get pissed off. And I even had enough and made a lockdown build with a 96 steal so I can get Hall of Fame Interceptor off rip and then when i get my cap breakers i'm going to put three points into that build and get 99 steals so i can get hall of fame i mean legend glove and legend interceptor but right now even at the 96 i've even used a plus one on this to get legend at 96 it is ridiculous the passing lanes that you get in in this it, when i say ridiculous i mean ridiculous it is absolutely insane okay uh the passing lane steals in general are just ridiculous but when you have this badge at a high level, it's just insane what you can do. I'm talking uh, Ed Reed in his prime, uh, Baltimore Ravens. I'm talking Odell Beckham, New York Giants, one hand turning around, snatch out of the sky, just like teleporting from the free throw line all the way to the hash mark. Like just, just the most ridiculous, asinine, like just most over the top dumb as hell animations that people can get in a video game like i've never seen anything like this i thought the passing lanes was bad in nba 2k19 rec but 2k25 is really giving 2k19 a run for its money with just the absolute just madness that this badge is causing people right like i have a 94 pass accuracy and i'm afraid as the point guard i'm afraid to throw passes sometimes because i'm just like yo I'm, i can't make that pass i know i'm gonna get picked off there's been times where i'm running point and wreck and i have to get on the microphone and tell them yo i see you center i see you small forward i just don't want to throw it because i know i'm going to throw a pick and they get on mic and you know what they say yeah man it's all good i understand like yeah yo these steals is crazy every single time it happens at least four or five times a game i just want to acknowledge that I see them, I see them in the lane, I know they're open, but if I bounce past it, if I lob a pass, if I icon pass it, I know it's going to get stolen because Interceptor is just that broken in this game. So if you're looking for a recommendation, you know, as far as levels go, honestly, you want at least a 60. If you want to just interrupt or have the ability to jump the passing lanes, you want at least 60 for Bronze Interceptor to unlock the animations. If you go under that, your guy is going to wave his hands around and do like this weird motion like as if he's falling backwards if you don't have interceptor but as soon as you unlock this badge it unlocks those animations for you to jump in front of the pass you jump to the left you jump to the right you guys know exactly what i'm talking about when i say those animations where you jump the pass basically you won't have those animations unless you get that bronze interceptor badge you know uh so with that being said try to at least get 60 I'll usually say for big men in the center, you want to be shooting for 60. The power forward, you want to be shooting for around 60, maybe 73 for silver, you know. And then the lower you go, small forward, shooting guard, point guard, those are going to be the people who are constantly getting passes and giving passes off. The lower you go, you know, the higher you want the steal to be. You know, so if you're playing center, again, you could get away with just the 60 because the center isn't really going to be getting the ball like that. And you're just going to really be just trying to disrupt like alley you backdoor passes, protecting the paint. So a 60, you can get by with it. You know what I mean? Obviously, the higher, the better. So if you can get 73 as a center, then get 73. You know, if you can get 85 as a center, get 85. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, just if you just want to play the passing lanes and disrupt alley-oops and stuff, you can get by with a 60 if you are a smart defender. Now, for the average player, I would say 73. 73, you know, 80, you're good around there, you know? Uh, and then when you're talking about experienced players, you can gamble. You know how to, you know, you know when to gamble, when not to gamble. You can go up to, like, an 85. This is more for, like, small forwards. Uh, shooting guards, you know, if you're on a budget, you can, you know, get uh, your bang, you know, your best bang for your buck 
uh, with an 85 steal gold interceptor. And then worst case scenario, you throw a plus one on there for a Hall of Fame interceptor, okay? Now, for everybody else that you're playing, you're trying to be a lockdown and whatnot like that, you want to lock some shit down, you can obviously go uh, 94 for a Hall of Fame and then use a plus one from there and get your legend interceptor. I personally have a lockdown with a 96 steal. And then I plan to use my plus uh, from cap breakers to put my steel to a 99. But right now I'm running 96 steel with Hall of Fame Interceptor. I did put plus one on there for Legend Interceptor, but then I took it off because I put it back on Set Shot Specialist. Uh, personally, Legend Interceptor is nice, don't get me wrong. But I'd rather, I'd rather get it the old fashioned way, just using my cap breakers. I'd rather use my plus one for shooting just so that I'm a better, more consistent shooter. But Legend Interceptor is definitely worth it. Um, but if you're trying to be on a budget, you know, for the pure locks, definitely you want to reach for that Legend Interceptor badge. But for everybody else that's trying to budget their your build accordingly, you're like, yo, I can't put a 99 steel or a 96 steel on my build. I'm trying to budget my build so I can shoot and ball handle and dunk and stuff. You can you you you're good with just a 94 steel. You're you're cool with a 94 steel, and you're even better with an 85 steel and just putting your plus one on interceptor and then doing more things, getting your interior defense or ball handling and stuff like that. The one thing that you don't want to be in this game is one dimensional. Now, I always always encourage you guys to always even in my build videos to not be one dimensional. Don't just put three on your build. Put like a, a little mid range. You know, put a little drive and layup or dunk. So that way, if you're getting, you know, face guarded, you can't get open from a three or whatever. You you can, you know, pull a midi. You can step aside, pull pull a little moving midi. You can hop step in a lane, get a little layup or dunk or something. You can do a little backdoor cut, get an alley or something. You know, you don't want to be one dimensional. So you you can you don't want to hand fish your build by going crazy on the steel and then not being able to afford you know better strength for vertical or agility or something like that so yeah you do want steel you do want to have this badge but you don't want to go crazy if you don't need to so again like i said for my recommendation you know centers power forwards you can you can play around from 60 to 73 uh small forwards you should be looking around uh 80 85 so you can get that gold interceptor uh, and then shooting guards, th those are really the only ones who you really want to go higher than that. You know, shooting guards, you can go 94 if you can afford it or just throw a plus one on there uh, from your, uh, you could go 91, get that gold glove and then just throw a plus one on your interceptor and get Hall of Fame. Uh, and then for my pure locks that you're just there to make everybody's day a living nightmare, obviously, you know, you can go 94 and go plus one. Or you could just go, you know, 99 and just get, you know, Legend Interceptor the old-fashioned way. Uh, nine times out of ten, you probably want glove anyway. So, you, you want to be on ball and off ball. So, you know, you can just do that. Uh, hopefully, this badge breakdown helps you guys with, you know, choosing your level of Interceptor. It has been your boy, Swiftly. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think about the Interceptor badge. Uh, do you think it's overpowered? Do you think it needs to be nerfed? Uh, what do you think about the passing lanes in this game? I'm out, guys. Peace.